वेलकम लर्नर माय नेम इज शिवाय देवनाथ आई विल बी टॉक अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो फ्लटर ऐप डेवलपमेंट ट्यूटोरियल विथ गेट एक्स एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन डेवलप ऑथेंटिकेशन सिस्टम आई ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट यूआई पार्ट्स बिकॉज यूआई पार्ट्स आर टू मच इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड आई ऑलरेडी टॉट अबाउट हाउ कैन डेवलप ए बेसिक सिम्पल यू आई फॉर योर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन बट इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन ऑथेंटिकेट योर एप्लीकेशन विथ यूजर नेम लाइक एडमिन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज एज ए पासवर्ड फॉर द पासवर्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट यू वॉन्ट टू हिट द लॉग इन बटन एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल बी लॉग इन इन टू द होम स्क्रीन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज एक्चुअली आवर गोल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉक ओके almost every kind of screens already developed and if you have interest to learn in detail in this topic so you can see my tutorial playlist and in this playlist you will be learn about flutter getx clean architecture tutorial step by step in detail if you want to learn about software development related knowledges and if you have any topics you want to know so you can commenting on my video uh, i will be definitely cover the things in my coming video okay so this is actually whole thing so never waste so much time so let's start it actually this screen is the consider as a home screen okay so this is actually clean up and uh, this is actually home screen of our app and when we are click the log out button so after log out we can redirect to login screen and it is not a big deal because here did not have any authentication process because there have no data mobile app storage so i did not use any authentication storage for the mobile section so this is actually just a button and uh, i just use the router so for that purpose i just use the routing options and after that redirect my screen to the login screen okay how can manage this screen this is actually screen and it is our main structure if you follow my architecture so you can download my repository file from the description box because i will be share this repository in my video description and if you want to learn these things in detail so you can download this repositories from my repositories and this repositories will be help you to learn so many things learn about flutter app development and in this tutorial i will be discuss about how can we implement our authentication system okay so first thing this is the actually login screen okay and in this login screen how can manage the screen one screen to another screen so this is actually login screen view and this login screen view have uh, some button which is login button so this is actually login button and if we are use just get and uh, here we can use the navigation bar so this is actually very simple things uh, which actually i already implemented in the logout button so this is actually never so much tricky thing but here need some authentication so how can indeed this type of authentication basically okay so if we are basic authentication process so it is very simplest way that means we need to be implement the uh, username and password and this is the actually two kind of fields are uh, here and it is actually required so for that purpose we need to be create a model okay here we are using getx library or framework whatever you can say so uh, if you want to create the model so first thing you need to be create a json file we can create that json file in our assets folder okay so this is actually assets folder and in this assets folder we can create a sub folder that called model in this model folder we can create log in json file so this is actually log in json file and after that we just create json schema like username here we can use the username as a admin and after that we can use the password and password default password okay so this is actually our schema okay so from this schema we need to be create a model okay so how can create so first thing we have get x cli if you did not have get x cli so you can use this package in your system so after using this package and get command will be activated in your system and after that you can use this kind of commands in your system okay so right now we need to be use this command okay so this is the actually command and this command how can use okay so here we can use get g n e r a generate generate 
model okay and which module so actually i want to use login module because in login module i want to create a model so for that purpose can you login module in the login section and now i need to be use the assets reference because this asset reference will be create the models that means this json file will be create the dart class file okay so with a sts asset class mods models and after that we can use the login dot json okay so this is the actually things are required so after using this command we have we are already create two files and one folder why one is login mode which is actually expected so this login models already expected because this class required for the dto data transaction object and another is the provider which is actually api part of this applications because when you want to log in through applications so that type we need to be use this process uh, when we are actually real time authentication process with the server so that time we need to be use this provider file or provider class this is actually very helpful for the login authentications okay so these two files actually required but if you are using this command follow my instruction so after that this type of code automatically generated for your help okay so after creating this file and now i need to be integrate this file for the login controller because why login controller i used here because this time i need to be get the value from this area so this is the actually explicit state management process so when we are using the explicit state management system so that time we need to be use stateful widget but when we are creating a login screen using getx package so that time we are did not use the stateful widget so here actually created a stateless widget because this is actually not a stateful widget it is actually static part of static widget for the view section and this package try to optimize the memory for the application so this state are managed by login controller okay in this controller we can try to create a app login data and this login data managed by login controller okay so after that when we are using login model so after that we can use obs why we are using obs because obs means observable object so this is actually observable object and this observable object using as a rx login and rx logins is the reactive okay so this reactive data are uh, need to be used for the application and development process so if we are input some data into the in this section so how can use the uh, data input for the user section so many things we can be used here and here is so many types of process are available but we can use validator and validator is the good way and to communicate our data here is the value actually if we write something here so after submitting the data this value will be generated here actually this is the validate the form value and if we are using the form data value here so that time we can use the global key object and here we can use the form state form form state and it will be form form key and after that we can use the global key object like this okay so this is actually required when we are using the uh, global key object after using this we cannot be used the const keyword is locked for initialize any dynamic data so for that purpose we cannot be used properly here so form state use and after this we can make it final and after that we can use it as a key and we can use form key for the form validations okay if we are using the form validation process so after that this value is nullable if value not empty so then we can use controller object after that we can use set the value so login data and after that we can use the data here actually this is the observable object and when we want to set up data value so for that purpose we can use the value val means this is the actually observable object value and after that we can got the username so this is the actually value setup our value available here and if not we can use some message like username is r e q u i r e d required okay so this is actually first validator for the username or email 
is required okay so this is actually first thing and second thing second thing is also same and here also we can use same thing this is actually input decorator options and after this input decorator we can use validator and this is actually validator point and here also we can use the checkpoint value checkpoint and this value checkpoint is not empty not empty means value is available and if value available here and after that we can use the controller controller means actually this is the actually login controller object and this login controller provide this controller object which is actually initialized already so after that we need to be update data and here we need to be in data update val and val is password and password will be input the value of password value okay so this is actually password and if not value set up there so after that we can return some message password password r e u i r e required okay so these two things are actually required uh, currently and after that if we are clicking the login button then we can see the value in our debug console okay how can i implement it so after input this value we can use after that current state because current state important and if it is validate current state is validate is nullable so for that purpose use the exclamatory sign if um, value are available then we can see the data here okay so how can see our data value so here if we want to observe the value we can use the print option here and you can use controller login data and after that we can use the value and after that we can use the username for this and actually it is sometimes lengthy because here we can use the controller states so for that purpose we need to be used this okay these things are properly implemented login screen and after that i just put here admin and i just put the data password and after the initialized i just input the value but if i put the value so this type of message not be expected right because already value not empty just we check the value here value is available or not so just simply put here and okay so value is available but why form data is not valid yet actually it is valid yet so after that we pass return null because our value is available so a null return is expected because if we did not use the return syntax so it is not be closed this validator options so it's closed when it get return options so if we are use the return option here so after that this line could not be read after using this okay so this is actually thing after this thing we can use it okay so now once again we check and this part right it's as seen here okay so that mean it's already prepared okay and one more thing one more thing is uh, when we are actually click here so after clicking this we want to see and after clicking this we did not see value okay so that means it's required some toggle value okay so for that purpose we can use the so and hide okay so here we can use the final is so this is actually value and here we want to use the value by default false and it is obvious obvious means it is actually rx value are implemented and now uh, we just want to use it's as a toggle value okay so void so t o g g l e toggle okay so this is actually function and when we are use it as a toggle so after that we can use the is so so this is the actually value and after that we can use the toggle option here okay so this is actually way of implementations for the toggle okay what it uh, suggested actually problem is here i did not use this front as uh, this brackets so for that purpose it's not working properly okay so this is actually problem solving process and it's already worked okay so after this we can use 
the toggle button and when we are use this toggle button and after this we can use controller and we can use show toggle just using but after this here we are using the obx function because in this section are required functionality to see our value so for this purpose we need to be wrap up this with obx obx object okay so this is the obx object and now we just need to be implementing through this and end of this thing this thing not be used i think this is not be required and it's okay and after that we need to be use controller is so dot value is required here okay so and after this value also required here also this value here and after that icon icons okay so here is the password and if we are clicking here so after using this we want to see and after this we want to don't see so this thing are properly working and now input the value here so at this moment we are see the password so this time we did not want to see the value so for that purpose we want to use it as a true and if we are using it as a true so then a password not be shown okay so our password did not be see okay so it's doing fine okay and after this um, validations as in the value and password here using this value and if the value are succeeded then we can go for the home screen after in this validation okay so we can use this process this is the thing and we can use the home okay so this is actually process if it blank so not validate properly so actually is not empty here and also we can use it here not empty and both of the things are not empty one second i just tried this validation part are working properly or not now it's working okay so here we just put the some value this validations are working properly okay and this is actually basic ui level authentications but it is not a back end level authentications so in the next video i will be talk about how can the connect with our back end api and after sending the request api responses in our app how can store that token in our application after login how can use the token for the validations so i will be discuss about in our next videos okay so if you are like my topic so hit the like button and if you are new my youtube channel so definitely subscribe my youtube channel and we will be meet with you next video